Do you want to talk about a water problem? Look at the damage to our front steps and look at the damage to our bedroom ceiling, the walls, carpets. This was really serious and it was caused by something that I think will surprise you and it could happen to you. So stay tuned, we'll tell you more. Our water problem started two years ago and I know, I know, why does it take you so long to figure things out? As a friend once said to me, Bill, your work is slow, but your work is poor. It just takes me a long time to figure things out. And that's what this video is all about. We had left our motorhome Monty on our friend's five acre farm for the wet season, returning one day to check on it to find that the rear bedroom was completely soaked. Water had penetrated through the roof, soaking the walls all the way down to the flooring. Now this is British Columbia. It gets wet during the winter time. So knowing that we couldn't do anything until the spring, I immediately removed the headliner. We hooked up a heater, to dry Monty out over the next several months. But knowing we couldn't leave the roof exposed during that time, we decided to buy a huge tarp to cover Monty. We borrowed our friend's rather complicated ladder and got to work right away. And once I got the ladder figured out, the rest was a breeze. Mm, it took me a while. Once spring arrived, I returned to the farm and I spent several days re-caulking every seam I could find on the roof. I caulked everything. Wherever that water was coming from, it was no more. Well, at the time of our departure for Mexico, British Columbia and Washington State were both in the throes of an atmospheric river. That's what they called it. To me, it was just a big freaking rain and windstorm. It was horrendous. It was violent. And it tested Monty to the limits. And us as well, to the point where we almost killed our cats because of ventilation restrictions. You gotta watch that episode. Please go back and watch it. Episode three, an almost fatal lesson. It will tell you the story about our, how we almost killed our cats and ourselves and what happened to Monty's interior again, soaked. Obviously, Mr. Water fix it. I am not. After losing all confidence in myself to fix this darn leak. Once in Mexico, where I had some time, I got up on the roof again and I thought, okay, it must be coming through. The water must be coming through the rear air conditioner. So I resealed that air conditioner along with stripping an antiquated solar panel from the roof and sealing those holes. This has to be the fix. It just has to be. I am so excited. We're on the road again. We're driving three to four hours from our little town of Sydney by the sea on Vancouver Island to Nanus Bay. The purpose of the trip is to conquer this water problem. We're giving ourselves up to two weeks to finally get it resolved. And to start off with, I'm going to completely redo the roof again. Even better. This has to work. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip up island, as they say on Vancouver Island. I'll let you know when we arrive at our friend's farm, our home for the next two weeks.
quick, should we go and eat? Okay, folks, time to wake up. I promised to let you know when we arrived at the farm, and here we are. So let's get Lola unhooked, our little tow car, and Monty put away, and then I'll meet with you, and we'll talk about what the plan is for the next couple of weeks. Okay, so what do you think of this plan? And I know what you're saying. What? That's going to take you two weeks? But remember, my work is slow. I'm moving slow. Free as a breeze I come and go Just as I please I Okay, okay, time to get to work. Hi, I'm Bill and I'm here to fix your roof. <laughs> Oh, hi. Four hours later. I'm almost finished doing the wet sanding. The heat wave in, in this area. So if people tell you that people in Canada live in igloos, you can tell them no. You saw this guy on his roof and he was baking. Okay, remember that funny looking patch? Well, it looks okay. Okay, here's the deal. I'm finally finished with about two days to go before the end of our two week period. I should be happy, right? Well, oh, and by the way, sorry, I didn't take pictures of the reseeding of the front air conditioner. So you just have to trust me that I did that. Okay, back to the problem. While I was doing the roof, over this last week and a half or so, I could not find anywhere where water was obviously getting in. So while I'm happy with the work, I'm still worried that something's amiss. I just don't know. But you know, if I had to bet, I'd bet there is no way water is getting through any point of that roof. So let's just move on. Michaela and I want to get on with renovating the interior of Monty, and we've been held back for a couple of years because we've been worried and unable to find the source of the water. So, come on, new day ahead. <coughs> what? What's up? What's wrong? Well, would you believe it? We're sitting outside with our friend Bruce having dinner a couple of days before we were planning to leave. Now that everything was finished, and Michaela said to me, Have you looked at the awning? I immediately looked at the awning and thought, oh my goodness, no, I have not. So, the next morning, I got up on a ladder. I looked at the bolts holding the awning to Monty. I loosened them with a wrench, and you could have 
taken them out with your finger. And I noticed that there was clearly an open gap between the rain gutter and Maudie's cabin where the awning attached to the side of Maudie. It had been pulled apart. There was an opening directly be below the bolts where water obviously could get in. This is our smoking gun. What kind of an idiot am I? Over the next two days, I drilled oversized holes, filled them with epoxy, drilled new holes, resealed the, the uh, attachments with really good marine uh, grade sealant. I think we finally nailed it this time. It only took two years. And I know what you're thinking, so you may as well say it. You are an idiot. And your wife is smart. <laughs>